Hi, I'm Dave Scott with the National Center for Appropriate Technology and we're here at our farm today, Montana Highland Lamb. It's a nice bright day and we are going to do some FAMACHA scoring of our ewes. These ewes will lamb in three to four weeks and we just want to get some baseline data of what their barber pole infection rate happens to be at this time. And we're going to use this to, as we go through the season, as a reference. So, one of the things we also want to show today is how easy it is to, to FAMACHA score your animals, your sheep or your goats, using the cover, push, pull, and pop system. It doesn't take any time at all. We're going to do 200 years, use here today, and we should be done and out of here in less than two hours. Ready? Here we go. Okay, we have this ewe lamb's head. If you got her head, you've got the lamb. So we're just going to cover with your thumb, push, and notice how the eyebrows curl, pull, and pop. Then we look at our card, which is attached to our, our arm, our right arm, and we match the color. In this case, she's a one. Good for her. So what we want to emphasize is with we have 200 ewes to do today and we'll get done in a couple hours and it's not very hard to do, doesn't take very much time to do the cover, push, pull and pop. One. 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 That's all there is to it. So we did about four animals in 30 seconds. and this, we, we will put them in a short tight area like this okay and you can walk amongst them here and grab their grab their their heads like this when they're bunched up tight and then just look at them that way okay so you have to have some kind of way of, of restraining them um, so that you know tight area or a, a race like this will work for you it's like anything else when when they when you do it enough times they kind of know what you're going to do and they kind of cooperate a little more, okay? When you first do it the first time, they're all over the place, okay? But what you do is you just grab them like that. You got a hold of their, their head and then with your other arm, you cover the eyelid, you push down and then with your forefinger, you pull, okay? And then you'll look. And um, let's see, does anybody... What I usually do is I take uh, two rubber bands and put my card right there to my arm right here. So I can look at it and then compare what their eyelid is, okay? Um, we should have supplied some rubber bands, but we don't. But anyway, you can, you, the alternative is to get your card in your left arm, left hand and compare it right there. But it's a lot easier if, if it's on a rubber band on your arm right here. And you can just look right here and look at their eye at the same time, okay? So just imagine I've got my card right there and, and generally it takes a couple 300 U's before that thing falls off, okay? It's a pretty good system. So what we're doing is we're, we're grabbing the sheep and then we're covering the eye with your left thumb, pushing down and then with your index finger, you're pulling down and pop. See how that that membrane just appears, okay? And if I was just to grab her like this and pull like that, it's gonna be lighter color than, than if I pop that, okay? okay you see the, the four, the five colors? It starts with one, is this nice bright red color. That's healthy, 
okay? And it goes all the way down to that cream color. That's darn near dead color. Okay, so if you have your, your thing, just imagine these, these um, rubber bands right here. You can just kind of look at it, okay, as you go. And, thanks Paul. Um, so again, you grab her, and oh, I was gonna say too about that, if you just pull her eyelid down, it's a lighter color. And so say if it was a, a Actually, it was a three, okay, right middle row, kind of this one right here. That's what it actually is, but if you just pull the eyelid down, it's going to look like possibly a four, and we're treating all fours and fives, maybe threes. If she's skinny, if she's loose in the manure department, or if she's got some other signs where she doesn't look thrifty, if she's a three, we'll probably treat her. But all fours and all fives get treated. Okay? So if you just pull down the eyelid, and she'll look like a four, but she's really a three. And so she doesn't need to get treated. Okay? So you're wasting your, your wormer, and you're lessening the refusion. That's the big thing. You're lessening the amount of sheep that are, are in your refugia by, by doing that. So I know it's kind of a pain, to have to to grab them and push pull and pop it's a lot easier just to go just to pull okay but it doesn't give you the same results results and when i first started doing it i've only done this for two years and the person emphasized my trainer emphasized always cover push pull pop okay and i thought wow that's gonna take me five more seconds if I just pull okay but it's it's important because you're gonna get a bad reading uh, if you don't do all four steps okay so all right good so you can see if we're just kind of looking at that part close to the eye that's always gonna be white mm -hmm. right. so get up underneath there so it's not like that. Okay. Forward or down. Okay. Then it's easy. It'll pop a little easier. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Almost. Are you sure? Yeah. There it is. Okay. So. I, I raised this top one a little bit. Sometimes they won't do it the way you're supposed to do it. <laughs> okay. So, what do you think she might be? Is that what I need yep, to see? Yep, uh-huh, that's right. So, three? Yep, perfect. Okay. Yep. Thank you.